Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. DIY Choose contacted me and asked if I would like to show some diamond paintings on my channel. So, let's take a look at what they sent me. Um, I did pick these out, so kind of know what's in the package with a couple of extra things. And believe it or not, I remembered to print out the pictures this time. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's in each package, however. So, I forgot to open these up. I'm trying to open up the packages, the individual packages off camera so it doesn't take quite so long. Not that this part really takes long, but... I normally have to open one or two anyhow just to figure out which company they're from because unfortunately I really really wish they would put their company name on the package they come in. <laughs> it would make it so much easier but we will put up with that. So this is the first one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Isn't she cute? This is a 30 by 30. And you guys all know I've been jumping on the 30 by 30 bandwagon that Anne from A Colorful Life started. Or if you started watching her on Crafting with Anne, now she's back over to A Colorful Life. But I thought she was so cute. Kind of got some glare going on there. There you go. So this is a full round. Let me zoom in just a little here. We do have 22 colors. And they look so pretty. Look at that beautiful background. Mm. Yes, right up Lisa's alley. We have a nice big color key, upper left and lower right. Let's take a look at the drill area. Looks very nice and clear. Of course, we have the white symbols in the darker areas. So yeah, shows up very nice. Typically your black lettering or symbols on the lighter backgrounds, they typically show up very, very well. I always like to look at the darker backgrounds where the lettering is white because if normally if you're going to have a problem seeing symbols, if the symbols are a little blurry, it's going to be more problematic in the darker areas, but not a problem at all on this one. So when this one is completed, it will be going in my scrapbook that again, Miss Ann introduced me to. Love the idea. You do get your standard toolkit, piece of wax, tray, and a single placer pen. Let's take a look at the drills. I'm not going to be taking them out of the package. Typically, the ones that I take out of the package are the special drills. <laughs> Gotta see those. Um, oh, but look at these pretty colors. Love that color. I'm assuming that is her skin tone. Beautiful pinks, mauve. Mmm. We have some purples, more skin tone. Oh, very, very pretty. Here's a like a magenta or a pinkish purple. Little bit of blue. Oh, that is going to be cute. I'm assuming there must be a dark pink in here, but I don't wonder if that's this one. 
maybe. Oh no, there there is one in there. I know it's probably hard for you to see it. Whoops. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's going to be adorable. Not. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to start working on some of these 30 by 30s. Take a break from my great big five panel one that I have been working on. I'm going to finish this one row that I'm working on. I'm in the first square. So there's two more squares to do. And then I'll have half of the uh, 40 by 80 panel done. <laughs> I have the 40 by 60 panel done. Now I'm working on one of the 40 by 80 panels. So yeah, I'm going to take a break from that big one and do some 30 by 30s. Um, I have a number of special drill mandalas to show you. It'll be a two-part um, video. And yeah, I really want to get some of those out and get working on them. All right, the next one. Oh yeah, let's let us tape the picture. <laughs> All right. Don't want you to see the other pictures yet. So we'll keep them hidden. Which one was it now? Oh my gosh. Must have been, yeah, it was this one. Forgot which one I put back down on my desk. All right, there we go. All right, the next one is, look at these pretty colors already. <gasps> And this is why I picked it. Oh, look at those gorgeous colors. Oh, I thought that was gorgeous. We have the, not sure if it's the moon or the earth. Because it could kind of be either. We have kind of the cool and the warm. So we could have the land and water. Or it could just be the moon with craters, you know. But again, loving the background and just all the pretty pastels in this one. Oh, again, a very large color key. There are 23 colors in this 30 by 30. Wow. That's a lot of colors in a 30 by 30, but that's okay. Another standard toolkit, a little bit bigger piece of wax single placer in this one we do have a three placer on the other end i don't use the multi placers i much prefer just doing one at a time just more satisfying to me so again let's zoom in and look at the drill field oh these are canvases that have that glitter in them so pretty. Oh, very, very clear again. Very nice. And of course, these are poured glue, so you typically will not have a problem at all with the glue on these. If you're going to have a problem, like I've said in the past, it will be your double-sided glue. So, and these are really nice and flat already. Won't take much ironing just to get, you know, the sides to go down. Let's take a look at the drills and all the pretty colors. So I'm assuming this will be, you know, right up in here because there's not much of them. Look at this beautiful pink. Ooh. At least some more of that area and gorgeous purple. No DMC codes on here, but they are on the color key. So that's nice for those of us who like to save our spare drills. I don't know if you can see them in there. 
If it bothers you with not opening the packages of drills to see all the colors, let me know in the comments below. But it seems like the overwhelming majority of you prefer not to see every package of drills. Um, but with that being said, I don't know if you at least want me to open the package and kind of open it up so you can see the color. So yeah, let me know your preferences down below. Couple shades of purple, beautiful blue here. Red, orange, oh, look at that color. So pretty. So we do just have a number on here, which will correspond to the number on the canvas. So nice and easy. Oh, pretty light pink. Coral back here. Nice lilac. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, that's going to be another fun one. Yeah, another one I want to do right away. Those of us who show diamond paintings on our channel, yeah, we say that for every single one. <laughs> I want to do this one next. <laughs> I am going to keep these down here rather than putting them up in my diamond painting room because I do want to get working on some 30 by 30s. Just something quick and easy when I am taking a break from that big one. <laughs> yes. But yet I still want to continue working on the big one so I can sometime this year <laughs> get it up on my living room wall. There we go. All right. The last diamond painting, but not the last item I want to show you, is this one. I thought this was so pretty. This is a 30 by 40, not a 30 by 30 standard toolkit, but we do get some babies in here, quite a few babies. So each toolkit can be a little bit different. Very similar. A little bit of dirt on the back. Not quite sure what it is, but it will not affect the diamond painting. Okay, here we go. I'm kind of zoomed in yet. So. This is a see-through apple with a rose in it. Not sure if that's all showing on a camera, but that's what it is. I think that's going to be beautiful. Let's look at the color key down here, or the drill field down here, because it has all the dark and some light. Oh, and that again, very, very clear. And there's even R's and B's right next to each other. And those could be kind of confused if the symbols were at all blurry. And the colors are identical on the canvas. So they are both going to be, you know, very similar in color. Um, but thank heavens, they are very clear. So that won't be a problem at all. Yes, very, very nice. We do have a lot of symbols in this canvas, so not just letters and numbers, because I see a lot of symbols in here, but they're very distinctive. You know, there are none that, that look real similar. So should not be a problem. So again, we do have the color key, upper left and lower right. As long as I have you zoomed in, let's look at the drills. Again, numbered nicely to coincide with the canvas and there are DMC codes on the canvas. So 30 by 40, full round. 
Isn't that a beautiful deep coral color? Not sure if those are three tens. Almost looks like a very dark brown. Number 16. Yeah, 3371. So it is not black. Beautiful mauve kind of color. Some yellows in here. A lot of earth tones. Pretty light pink. Here's a really kind of a deep mauve or a very light kind of, I don't know what you would call it. Not chocolate brown, but, oh, and that's a pretty color. So yes, a lot of earth tones in this picture. So not my typical real bright colored one, but I just loved the picture. And I think it is going to turn out beautifully. So, yeah, those are the three diamond paintings that they sent me, and I love them all. I think they are beautiful, nice quality canvases. So, I did have them send me a couple of items that are not diamond paintings, but are diamond painting related. So we're going to put that, maybe if I show you the thumbnail, you'll be able to see the rows in there. No, let me zoom in. Maybe you can see it better when I zoom in because then it doesn't get so blurry. So there's the pretty rows inside. Beautiful. I've seen this image on um, a number of different sites, either this exact one or variations of it. And I always did think it was so pretty. So I thought, let's go ahead and get that one. Okay, a couple of other items from their website. This is a little, let me zoom you back in a little bit. We're far away. Um, a little tube of glue. Now, I did have a problem with um, the great big one that I'm working on right now. Through no fault of their own, <laughs> it was from me accidentally leaning on it without me knowing it. I'm, <laughs> I'm aware of it now. Um, but I did have to put some glue down, and I tried a couple that I have. Um, and I, I did get it to work, but I thought it would be nice to try out their glue that is made specifically for diamond painting. So let's open this up. Let's see what the tip looks like on this. I'm assuming it should be quite fine. Do we turn it or just pull it? We turn it. Okay, so yes, it is a fine tip on the end. Kind of, you know, it's it's white, but of course it's going to dry clear. Resembles Elmer's glue. I wonder if a person could refill this. Otherwise, I have shown you in the past some um, needle nose. Uh, oh, it is very sticky. <laughs> um, some needle nose um, bottles um, that I've filled with. Um, it's called super sticky glue, I think. Um, and that worked good too, but I do want to try this out. It is, like I said, it is sticky. It, it feels much stickier than Elmer's glue, so it, it must be something different. Um, and I will link all of this stuff down below as well as um, do-it-yourself or DIY chooses uh, generic website. So if you want to, you can go check out their stuff. Then the other thing that I wanted to try out, um, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I am going to try it out in the near future. And I will be back to let you know how it works. Now this is different than a multi-placer. What this does, and I'm not exactly sure yet how you do it, I will have to do some investigating, but essentially what you can do is fill up this entire chamber with 
a color of drill. Now, I don't know if both round and square fit in this chamber. The chamber is round, so maybe it is geared more towards just round diamond paintings. Again, I'll have to do some experimenting um, and see how you fill this up. But essentially, what it's supposed to do is, um, you know, you can push out one at a time, you know, and you don't have to constantly go to your tray. I thought, mm, what an interesting concept. Now this does screw off. So like I said, I'm going to have to do some experimenting and see how this is done. And maybe I will make a separate video on it. Would you guys be interested in that and just in how to use it? And then my, my, uh, comments on it I guess if, if I feel it works or really doesn't work or semi works. Um, again let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a more in-depth review um, on how to use this and problems I ran into if any. So that is what I all got from DIY um, Choose. So these three diamond paintings, which I love. I think they are all beautiful. Thank you so much to DIY Choose for sending me all of this to show on my channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this unbagging video and showing a couple of supplies, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.